Shopify product customization page 2023. Customize your Shopify product page step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another great video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify to basically customize one of the best product pages out there. So we're going to be discussing it in great depth so please do make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the instructions I have to provide you with because by doing that uh, you're going to fully and properly know how to do uh, you know the whole customization bit with the whole drag and drop builder. On Shopify with your customization page. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to head to shopify.com. Okay. Now, once you head to there, you're going to create a store for yourself, basically, because you're going to need a store before customizing a product page. So just keep a random name for a store. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, once you've done that, it says creating your store. Okay. Now, once it's done creating your store, it's going to basically ask you a few questions to, you know, accordingly optimize your profile and your dashboard. And once it's done, obviously optimizing you, what it's going to do is then it's going to take you into the main bit. So please choose one. I'm just going to go with, I'm just playing around. What is your current revenue? Just choose anything. Doesn't really matter. Which industry will you be operating in? So I'm going to go with the electronics industry. Or you know what? No, I'm going to go. Let's go with clothing. Okay, let's go with clothing and I'm going to go next. Then you're going to basically set up your address. This is necessary because if you don't set up a business address and let's say your payments are on hold or something like that, this is the address they're going to send your uh, you could say bills to. So this is a pretty necessary thing to put in. So once you put that in, you're going to click on enter my store. And from there on out, you will be redirected into your main store. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that. And we're going to carry on. And like once we're getting loaded, uh, what you're going to want to do is obviously understand a few things again. So one thing you're going to go on online store. Now, once you're here in to your online store, basically over here, what you're going to want to do is, you know, search all the options that you have. So first of all, there are your themes where you can get different types of themes for yourself, like the Dawn theme, the refresh theme, craft theme, basically for getting into the customization page, you're going to work around with the themes you have. And the themes you have matter a lot because they have the color grading and the layout and the widgets. So please choose a theme wisely. Now, once you're done choosing a theme, what you're going to do is you're going to customize and pick a plan for yourself. OK, so let's go. You know what? I'm not going to go with the Dawn theme because as you can see where let me show you by loading you in. As you can see, the Dawn theme, it's it's like a pretty good theme, but it's your basic blueprint for, the, for a website. And many people use the same type of layout and I don't want to be like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some different theme. I'm going to go and add. Let's add this one, the, the sense theme. This looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on add. And what this is going to do is, as you can see, it starts installing the theme. So basically, once you have your theme in front of you, we're going to go to the product page. Now, if you don't know what a product page is, let me show you real quick. Let, let's take example of like one of the biggest websites out there. Let's take the example of Nike. So let's go on men and let's go and shop all. Now, this will take us to the product page. So look at this. These are obviously all the product that Nike brings you with. So, yeah. These are, you know, the, this is your main product page, your basic product page that you're going to basically work around with. Now, how does one create something, you know, not exactly like this. We're not trying to rip Nike off, but you get what I mean, like something near this, something related to this. So let's go ahead and create ourselves some nice product pages. So for this, what you're going to want to do, OK, is you're going to come here. As we can see, our sense theme has been installed. We're going to go on customize. Now, once you are here in customize, you can see welcome to our store image with text, etc. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go from your home page to the product page. OK, now to do that, obviously, you're going to create a page and to create a page. What you're going to do is you're going to go in pages over here. And once you're gone into your pages, you're going to go on add page. And once you go on add page, give your page a title. Let's call it product. OK, like write the content of the page if you want to. Uh, you're going to choose a team template and you're going to click on save. OK, now you have a product page in your store. Now you're going to click on, uh, you know, view page and you can see it's it's an empty page. It doesn't have a lot in it. So what will we do about that? Let me show you. Basically, we're going to go to online store. We're going to go and customize again. And once we're back to customizing, what you're going to do is you're going to change from your home page to your products page. So here are your products page. Now, 
first of all, for your products page, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to add a product for yourself. So to add a product, you're going to go in product. We're going to click on add product. So we said that we're going to add a shirt. So I'm just going to write shirt over here. Let's add this shirt, okay? It's a Cambridge shirt. It's a black poplin plain shirt. So I'm going to go and save image as, okay? Now I've saved this image. I'm going to go and write black poplin cam bridge shirt. I'm going to write that. I'm going to write a good description, obviously. Once you write a description, I'm just going to write that because it's not really necessary right now. I'm going to add that. Now, once I've added the photo, I'm going to add a price, okay? Just add a random price, add a compare price if you want to, cost per item, and you can keep the weight, physical quantity if you want to. And once you do that, we're going to click on save. And once you click on save, you have one product successfully added. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go on the online store, again, customize, and basically you're going to lead yourself to the products page. And here's your product page. Here you are. Now, this is your product page. And to customize this, basically you have a few different places. You have the header, which is going to stay the same throughout. And then you have this section, which is the product information. Now in the product information section, here's your text, you know, the, the name of the photo. This is the image. This is the money, you know, the money that we kept and the compare price. This is the quantity section. And as I said, like to, if you keep a good theme, you won't need to customize your product page section. So as we can see, our theme is already pretty good. So we don't need to do a lot of customization. But if you do want to, like if you're pretty picky, you can just click on add block and start adding different things into the section. If you like, you can also change the theme if you want to, like, let's say you want to change the color of this accent to this. So we're just going to click on that. And as you can see, it starts changing the colors. So there you go. It changed it from pink to gray. So yeah, that is basically how you're going to work around with the editor to make a product page or a nice product page in that case. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more content like this in the foreseeable future, please do remember to turn on bell notification and subscribe to the channel. So yeah, uh, that was basically all for today. I hope you all uh, had a great time watching. I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.